Well, you also have this partnership you mentioned earlier with SME, yes. and I understand that that partnership has resulted in the Smart Manufacturing Executive Council. Um, so tell us a little bit about this new council. What is the vision for the council? And who are some of the individuals and organizations that you've recruited to be a part of this? So just by way of context, uh, when we talk about ecosystem, the, the intent is to find the thought leaders, the organizations, and the individuals that understand that the path to the future looks a little different than what we've done in the past. When we talk about the fourth industrial revolution, manufacturers, as you know better than most, don't really do revolution. We, we evolve. Right. We don't like being at the bleeding edge of things. And so the path from our legacy to where we need to go um, isn't always an easy path. And so the Executive Council, which is roughly 20, 21 manufacturing leaders that all represent a combination of both business and technology, core competencies, as well as OT and IT experience, are here to advocate for these ideas of smart manufacturing, for the value of smart manufacturing, for this new focus around ecosystem education and technology, to encourage and inspire this entire ecosystem, the, the integrators, the consultants, the educators, academia, the machine builders, systems integrators, and of course, the broader manufacturing organizations to invest in these areas and to expect the best from their partners in this space. And so, some of the great organizations that we have uh, are proud to sort of call uh, partners in this um, executive council include Procter & Gamble, um, ExxonMobil, um, Corning, General Mills, Ford, GM, Stellantis, Toyota, Johnson & Johnson, um, some of the great um, manufacturers across this country Without who question. understand that manufacturing competitiveness is key and that the role of advanced manufacturing, smart manufacturing, is a vital one in this journey. Absolutely, well you've certainly recruited some really, really significant companies, you know, l large, large companies, recognizable com companies. You know, what I love about that is it just brings in immediate credibility to the kind of work you do. You bring up a company like Stellantis, obviously well known to folks here in the Midwest, we're not too far from Detroit, I guess maybe three or four hours here this morning. Um, but, but recruiting those types of organizations into an effort like the Smart Manufacturing Executive Council really brings tremendous amounts of credibility to the, the great work that you're doing.